Today, we're focusing on how to optimally dose the popular NAD precursor supplement, NMN. We'll explore how NMN supplementation is best tailored to your age, plus we'll discuss minimum and maximum effective dosages, the best way to take NMN, and any potential dangers that you should be aware of. We'll also take a look at the potential benefits of combining your NMN dosage with the alternate NAD precursor, nicotinamide riboside. And lastly, I'll reveal the best lab-tested NMN products on the market today. And as always, I'll include any available discount codes that the brands wish to bestow on us. NMN, as most of you will know, is a precursor to NAD+, a vital coenzyme in our cells responsible for energy metabolism, DNA repair, and maintaining cellular health. The problem is that as we age, NAD levels naturally decline, contributing to various age-related health issues. However, by supplementing with NMN, our aim is to restore NAD levels, thereby potentially mitigating some effects of aging. Now, I do have several previous NMN presentations available on this channel, so if you'd like to learn everything that we currently know about NMN and its many health and longevity benefits, then I urge you to watch those videos when you can. Research indicates that the efficacy of NMN supplementation may vary with age, necessitating adjustments in dosage in order to achieve optimal benefits. Essentially, we're trying to keep pace with and effectively counteract certain age-related cellular changes that our body is otherwise forcing us to endure. Now, to be clear, the following dosage suggestions are based on my own meta-analysis of the following data, which includes every NMN study to date, the opinions of several experts in the field of NAD research, my own five years of experience using the compound, and lastly, several years of feedback gained from my consultation clients the world over. Now let me start by stating that if you're under 30 years of age, then in my opinion, there's little point in supplementing with NMN. At this stage in life, there's really no decline taking place that would benefit from adding an NMN supplement. So bearing that in mind, let's jump right into our dosage chart, starting with those persons aged from 30 to 40 years of age. Otherwise healthy persons in this age group who would like to try NMN can jump straight in and take 250mg per day, with 500mg being the upper range of what you're likely to benefit from. And I can't see any reason to take more than that even with larger framed individuals. Next, for those persons aged 41 to 50, the optimal dosage range is likely from 500 to 750 milligrams per day. Personally, I'd start in 500 milligrams, and if not feeling any benefits after one month, then perhaps consider increasing the dosage. Now, if you're extremely active, for example, a competitive athlete or have a particularly large frame, then taking up to one gram per day might be a further benefit. And for those aged from 51 to 60, the optimal longevity dosage range is likely from 750 milligrams to one gram per day. Now keep in mind that individual responses to NMN do vary, especially in later life when NMN's effects do become more noticeable, particularly in those who are most NAD deficient. If you're aged between 61 to 70, as I am, the appropriate longevity dosage range for you is likely to be from one to 1.5 grams daily. As an example, I'm 65 and I take one gram every morning upon waking. Although I should point out that I do take my NMN alongside 350 milligrams of another NAD precursor, nicotinamide riboside. More on that shortly, if you're interested. Now for those aged over 70, it is possible there might be some benefit to be had from increasing the dosage further. However, that's purely speculation at this point. So I'm not going to be making any dosage suggestions here above and beyond those stated for the 61 to 70 age group. And just to give you a quick heads up, I will be uploading a video next week that will provide you with a timeline of the projected short, mid and long term benefits that supplementing with NMN may provide. So please make sure you're subscribed if that's of interest to you, because this is information that you won't find on any other channel. NMN is rapidly absorbed and converted into an NAD inside cells, with studies suggesting that NMN levels peak in the blood within 2 to 10 minutes after oral intake. Now, the resulting effects of NMN supplementation, i.e. increased NAD plus levels, can last from several hours to a whole day, depending on the dosage and individual metabolism. So, with the relatively high longevity dosages of NMN suggested here, once a day dosing is sufficient, with the best time of day to take your NMN being in the morning. 
preferably shortly after waking and on an empty stomach, which will provide optimal absorption. And lastly, irrespective of whether you're taking your NMN in capsule or powder form, simply wash it down with a glass of water. Now for those who would like to optimize their dosage even further, there may be a case for combining your NMN with a small amount of nicotinamide riboside, or NR as it's more commonly known. And I've been experimenting with this combo for the past two years. Upon waking, I take two 500mg capsules of NMN and one 350mg capsule of NR. The logic behind this actually stems from the ongoing dispute between leading NMN and NR scientists. Now, I won't go into the details here other than to say that each side claims that their NAD precursor is superior. And that's essentially why I take both. If you'd like to understand the arguments put forward by both sides, then there are videos on this channel explaining all, and I have linked to those in the video description. Well over a year ago, I produced a video outlining the potential dangers of high dose NMN supplementation and how those potential dangers can be easily and effectively removed from the equation. Now I strongly urge you to watch that video as it contains extremely important information that's otherwise very difficult to find without a fair bit of deep research. NMN is available in both capsule and pure powder forms. Neither is superior, other than the fact that the pure powder is easier to use when taking custom dosages that can't be satisfied with pre-dosed capsules. And on the subject of capsules, your preference should be for an unadulterated filler-free product. There's absolutely no necessity for fillers and flow agents to be used with NMN other than to keep production costs down. So avoid any NMN product that contains them. Now, as many of you will know, I previously lab tested the leading NMN products and published the results on this channel. One brand stood out in terms of both purity and price, and that brand was Do Not Age the lab tested purity of 99.85%. It's priced at only $87 for 100 grams of pure powder or $80 for 60 500 milligram capsules. And it's even cheaper in larger packs. You won't find a higher quality NMN anywhere. So if you want the very best, this is it. And you can get it even cheaper using my exclusive 10% discount code, which will work for all Do Not Age products, including subscriptions and special offers. Enjoy. So in summary, NMN supplementation presents a promising avenue for supporting healthy aging, with dosages that can be adjusted based on your age in order to optimize benefits. Combining NMN with NR or other complementary compounds may further enhance its effects, though more research is needed to fully understand the synergistic potential. Many thanks for watching, and as always, take care, be healthy, and I'll see you again soon.